Hey guys, it's Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be talking about a PCGS submission we just got back. We're getting a lot of them back, and we wanted to go through each coin, show you exactly what we thought of them, and if we agree with PCGS. Let's get this video started. So these are some coins that we got back, like I said, from PCGS. We sent them in uh, on behalf of Tylon or Tyler. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to him, check out the link below. Makes some YouTube videos as well. Uh, we went through these coins before making this part of the video, and some of the coins really kind of confused me in terms of why they were graded details or why they were graded a grade lower than what I thought they would be. And so it's just kind of, uh, it's not really splitting hairs, but it's kind of trying to understand the balance between uh, what PCGS thinks of certain grades getting down exactly how they grade so you can be better at it. So I hope this uh, hope this coin reveal helps you guys learn how to grade better. I hope it just gives you more opportunity to look at certain pieces and uh, give your perspective as well. But uh, let's show you guys some coins. Hey, let's start to take a look at a few uh, coins today. I think the last video really helped me and helped you guys learn a little bit more about grading pieces. Um, and so I hope this one helps you as well. Taking a, a first kind of glance at this 1922S, you can see a lot of kind of just gradual wear on the, uh, on the high points here. And there's a little bit of circulation on the face that probably nicked it down to an AU58. Luster's still pretty nice on the coin. So that's what really holds up a lot of the AU58s over the 55s. Uh, there might be a little bit of circulation right here. Um, but other than that, pretty nice coin. Nice one, Tylon. This one actually is another group from Tyler. We appreciate him letting us show you guys these coins. I'm not too familiar with Peace Dollars as much, but I'm still trying to learn. And that's why we're here together. Got a few nice gradual uh, hits on the high points just from, you know, coins or you know in the bag whatever they were doing um kind of like a i don't know if this is like a soft strike here or not but um yeah there's st the hair is still pretty nice and defined you do see kind of just a lot of uh a lot of touchy spots in the fields here a lot of that on the face as well uh yeah easier to easier to pick up on when you're in the light but flip over the coin Let's take a look at the high point here. So another, it's kind of like soft up here by the, by the back, and a lot of just fine little hits all the way down uh, until where you see peace here. Uh, these are kind of interesting. Um, you can kind of see that United States uh, over here or United is all kind of uh, it's a little soft, but it might have to do with the strike, and it might just have to do with the amount of uh, just chatter in the fields. Still trying to learn about peace dollars, like I said, but uh, yeah, pretty nice, nice coin. Up next is a 1923 SLQ. Head's pretty nice for sure. Now we're gonna try to figure out where they said clean on the coin. So don't really see any issues on uh, on the obverse here. Don't see too many. I'm trying to just get it. When you're looking at coins, you kind of have to. Take them and move them in the light in certain directions to see if there's any kind of hairlines or any issues like that. Um, so there might be something underneath underneath kind of the wings here. I'm not too sure. Um, this one's kind of just too tricky for me to understand. Hmm. Okay, so you kind of see some gradual hairlines here. I'm going to try to get it in the right spot. And it's tough, but... I guess they took a look and saw some like gradual hairlines underneath the, the bird. That's where most of the time where you're going to find a lot of unk details SLQs. Or you're going to find a lot of details SLQs. They'll have like, um, you know, someone cleaned underneath, uh, underneath the bird. It's just a really common occurrence for some reason. Um, but I do kind of, when I kind of moved it in the light a little bit, it did have a few kind of gradual hairlines. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know about this coin. But that's just uh, that's just kind of the way it is, you know. Sometimes uh, you win some, sometimes you lose some. I thought that one was pretty nice though. I didn't see a lot of issues with it. Um, 
Up next, nice little uh, 1882 Morgan Dog MS63. So you got a little, uh, you know, a little bit of a weak strike here, a little bit of rub on the hair. Uh, we have some kind of uh, just a little bit of chatter on the face, going all the way down to the neck. Uh, still a pretty nice coin. I thought it'd be, a, you know, had a shot at a 64 possibly. Has some nice kind of color on the reverse here, uh, but definitely a hair split between MS63 and MS64. The thing about most coins, which people don't think about, is that, you know, grading mint state coins out of 10, so, you know, MS60 to MS70, it's just very, I don't know, I think it's just very intensive. I, I don't know, I think that, uh, just kind of how John Albany said, he said, why is there so many grades in mint state? It's kind of confusing. There's also so many grades in VF. But that's kind of just the grading scale that we're on now. But tell me your thoughts down below. Do you think this one could have been um, a 64? I don't know. It's a, it's kind of an interesting one for sure. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you guys are, please leave a like. Uh, also, let us know what your, what your thoughts are on the first few coins that you've seen. Some of them are kind of confusing to me. And I would love to hear your opinion. And subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're making PCGS unboxing videos, we're making coin show videos, anything that we can really just give you guys a better numismatic experience, that's our goal. But let's get back to today's video. I do think that one has a little bit of hair splitting. Up next, 18850 Morgan Dollar Rate MS64. Taking a look, look at the two coins kind of side by side, I mean, I think that they almost have a, a matching uh Matching kind of thing here. I mean, this one I think is is mainly due to a weak strike, New Orleans mint type of coin, and there's kind of the same amount of hits on the face here as well. Maybe they kind of are delineating between um, things that they know have a weak strike from the mint and then things that they know have a lot of rub. Maybe that be it might be a thing. Flipping over the coin, still a lot of the breast feathers, uh, you know, look like they're intact, but when you get them in the light, just really soft. Not too many problems in the fields at all. Hmm, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. I think a lot of the, both these coins were pretty close in their grade, but they just, I don't know, one's a 63, one's a 64. Please let me know what you guys think. So we have a 1945 Washington, Washington Quarter. Uh, when we get it kind of in the light here, um, don't see too many issues on the obverse. Got kind of few, see a few striations on the face. But other than that, pretty st pretty nice coin. A little spot by the eye up there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Wow. Flip it over. You can see a big hit kind of here right, right in the eagle. And, and it kind of drags all the way over into the wing. Saw that in our last video. Got a little hit right here as well. And a few of uh, distracting spots on the reverse. Still, pretty beautiful coin. I think the only time it really goes into money is 67. But still, I mean, something to learn from, something to uh, get a coin in a nice holder. Another Morgan dollar here. Uh, going back to the weak strike, New Orleans Mint. But, you know, same type of wear that we're seeing on the, on the other one. Uh, Luster's still kind of intact. A little bit of rub here. But, yeah, MS64, that's kind of what you're going to see. A nice kind of, nice breast feathers. You can actually kind of see some definitions here. Which gives it, I don't know, it's kind of, it's a lot stronger than the past two that we've seen. And uh, that really kind of kept it up for a 64. I think this one's the best 64 that we've seen so far for sure. But, nice beautiful coin. We're going to try to go through these quickly guys. Just to make sure that you guys, uh, you know, get to see everything. So we have a nice 1865 3 cent nickel. Got a few kind of, looks like carbon spots here. So we have a one right U I D and the, uh, right next to the D and then some right by the date. Um, there's kind of a a few kind of dings right here by the neck. There might be a light scratch there as well. Flip the coin over. A little bit lackluster on the reverse. Oh, I think it's just a strike through. Not a strike through, but uh, uh, what's it called? It's kind of where one the design on the obverse bleeds to the, to the reverse. You can kind of see that right here. But I think it's just a little lackluster, and those carbon spots really kill the grade on most coins, and so that's something that you should understand from the get-go. Carbon spots sometimes are, are just a big no-no for them, and they're going to grade accordingly. It's a very problem-free surface coin, but like I said, the carbon spots do normally just cast it out of any gem state type of material. So we have 1943 cleaned um, unk details, genuine. 
So when we take a look uh, at the coin, hmm, maybe they use some type of chemical on it or something. I'm trying to see it just for, figure out where the uh, figure out where this would be. Really, it's just tough. Yeah, if you guys have some thoughts on this coin, just let me know, know down below. It's just, uh, it's kind of weird. There's like some haze around uh, around the rim. Maybe someone tried to like whiz it or something, or I don't know. It's just, it's just a, uh, it seems like a nice coin to me, but very tricky, very tricky. Maybe there's just some underlying hairlines in the fields. Something must be up with up with this coin. PCGS said so. Um, does seem seem some darkness here. Hmm. Very neat. I don't know. That's a that's a very tough one. If I I mean I can't even put my finger on it. And the thing about it that you have to realize is that I'm sending in these coins. So when I send these coins in, I mean just realize that I um you know I'm just being honest with that I think that they're gonna be a nice coin and a nice coin in a holder. So I'm never really sending coins in because they're unk details, if that makes sense. So sending a coin in like that, getting it back, sometimes confuses even me. Up next is uh, 1970s uh, Kennedy half dollar. It's a proof. I'm not gonna get a cameo just because of that kind of uh, haze around the rim. Nice little uh, darkness in the fields, though. Pretty beautiful. Flip over the coin. Got another nice little cameo look, but that uh, you know that kind of. If you have any kind of toning or anything on that, it's gonna really take away from the cameo effect, and they're not gonna give you a cameo. I think the coin though is pretty nice. I do like it a lot. Alrighty, so up next, we have this nice 1882 O. This one's unk details clean, and the reason why it is is because I think they cleaned around the stars. So you can kind of see some, uh, almost like some, I don't know. I think they use like a brush or something to go around the stars with. And you can really see that around the P, the L, the U. Something must have been done to try to like spruce up this coin in some capacity. And you can just see kind of these all, it's almost like dirt or something around around the de around the details, the wording and the stars. Those halos really do scream cleaning to uh, PCGS. And uh, didn't pick that up when I uh, sent this in for Tylon. Yeah, but I don't see any issues like that on the reverse. So it's probably going to be mainly in the details, you know, in the wording on uh, the offers. Another uh, Omint Morgan Dollar, something you can already expect, Weak Strike. And I think this one is a combination of Weak Strike and Rub. So, um, you know, they're mostly in, with this wear, they're going to keep it at a 63 or a 64. Um, but this one, since it has a combination of that Weak Strike and the, uh, the Rub, I think they're not going to keep it at a 64. They're going to knock it down to a 63. You can even see the Rub right here, right there. Look at that. Right in the hat and everything. But, you know, it's a little bit of chatter on the face as we can normally see. No big, huge hits or gouges. Um, but when we take a look at the reverse, look at that. Just super, super soft. And uh, some hits as well. Yeah, that definitely is going to keep it out of the money on 64. But 63 is, is common that way. And a lot, of the, a lot of the time when they, you know, make a decision, they're going to be looking at the obverse. So, 1883-0 cleaned so I just thought this was kind of natural toning we have fingerprints in the fields here um, but I do think there's lackluster in the face po possibly it's uh, kind of a hard coin to judge maybe it's just that uh you know someone someone used some type of uh, thing on it here so another, another kind of big issue is that we see which you can even watch it from coin help you you kind of see some weak the weak uh, breasted right here but also, there's just no luster in it. So maybe someone used a type of type of chemical right here on the high points. Uh, I do think that's maybe just suppressed toning, but I mean, I don't know. This one's kind of perplexing as well. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm kind of dumbfounded a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of interesting. What do you guys think about this coin? See, that's just, man, I don't know. I don't see any kind of brushing in the fields. I don't see any thing that would really take away from its grade. But like I said, there is lackluster in the cheek. Maybe they use something on the cheek, and maybe they use something on the on the reverse uh, breast feathers. 
That's something that, to take into account. Oh, actually a nice one here. So, 1882 Morgan dollar. Uh, strikes a tad weak here. Luster's pretty nice. I think they may have get, given it a color bump. But I think it's just, I don't know if it's mainly rub here or not. But a nice coin. Nice luster. Very strong reverse for sure. Yeah, and got some color down here as well. So maybe they gave it a color bump on this one. Because I think a 64 like that, we just saw, almost was comparable to that one. Up next is an 1880 Definitely a tougher date. This one really, uh, you know, there's a little bit of kind of darkness on the face. A little bit of chatter in the fields. Kind of some big hits here, as you can see. Um, but look at the look at the strike here on the hair. It's actually pretty decent for an omit coin. And this is a little bit of a tougher date, even in mint state 62. And so taking a look at the reverse here, got a, a few other big hits, scratches, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's still a pretty nice coin. Can't go wrong with that. I think it's it's still a beauty. You can start, kind of see like you're seeing like the lack of luster that's going out of the coin, and it's not really because of circulation. It's just because of you know, the, the story that the coin's gone on um, through the bags and everything else. Um, yeah, it just got beaten up in the bags, basically. Here's a 1879S. Casey uh, said that this one looks proof-like, but uh, you can kind of see the reflectivity on the left and the right of, the, uh, of her. But when you kind of get it in the light, you can see that all just kind of fade away. And the, and the main reason that you're not going to get proof like on something like this is because there's not that proof like all the way in the fields up here or down by the date. There is some kind of nice reflectivity to the right and the left, but nothing to scream home about, nothing to uh, write home about at all. I don't think that this one would meet the 4-inch uh, standards, and that's kind of what PCGS agree with me on. See, see, there's still reflectivity here, but it's not enough to carry it over. We still have some spots here where there's just... Very bland, very business strike looking. So, very close to a PL, but nothing, uh, nothing that I would say would proof like for sure. Up next, we have uh, 1916 Mercury Dime MS63 full bands. Kind of see on the face here. There's a lot of hits from just other coins. A um, little bit of a rub here, um, but still kind of decent in the fields. We have a kind of a, a nick from a coin read. And uh, kind of a few dis distracting spots that may be carbon or that may be toning spots. But still, a pretty nice reverse here for sure. I think a lot of the, the marks that they took off was because of the obverse. And like I said, again, it carries a lot of the weight on the obverse. But let's take a look at that spot one more time. Yeah, I think that's just uh, kind of ugly toning spots and a few kind of coin rolls. But still, pretty nice coin. Nice blast white appearance. Pretty lovely for sure. Here is another one. This is a 1929 S. Uh, I'm sorry, Standing Liberty Quarter Grade AU55. You can kind of see some circulation where you're normally going to see it. You're going to see it right on the leg, which is the most important. A little bit up by the shield. Luster is still pretty nice and intact, but pretty severe circulation on the leg. You're going, and there's actually a little bit looks like on the stomach and kind of on the draper that she's holding. You flip over the coin, a little bit of circulation on the eagle's uh, wing. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that this coin could, is kind of a hair split between AU55 and AU58, but uh, still nice looking gray, nice looking coin. Can't go wrong with it. I think it's just a little lackluster. The toning really took away from it for me. You can kind of see this darkness here and darkness all on the reverse. So that might be an indicator for them to say, hey, we're not going to we're not gonna AU58 this coin. It just has that really distracting, ugly toning. Nice little grade here, uh, 1960 Franklin Half Dollar Grade MS65 FBL. Take a look at the obverse here. Most of the time you're going to get out of uh, 66 money when you see kind of two coin rolls here. Um, and there's a kind of a light little scratch. But a few dings that you can see on the high points. Nice little gradual toning around the rim that you're going to find a lot on Franklin's. Flip over the coin. Let's take a look at the, the bell lines. So bell lines are pretty nice and intact. Hard to kind of find sometimes. Um, and But still pretty nice. The bell's kind of beat up here. 
You can kind of see a few kind of coin rolls and a few striations. And so I would agree with this grade, MS65 FBL. You can kind of see a little rubbing here also on the cheek. And so, yeah, it's a still a pretty nice coin. I think it's like a $175 coin and a little bit of a tougher date for FBL. So that's people, what people are looking for. And I uh, hope Tyler is happy with that one. A little bit of a better day here, 1919D. Uh, Mercury down, grid AU55. You do see some circulation. I'm starting to come in kind of on the high points here and on the face. The luster is kind of fleeting as well. And uh, yeah, no, there's the kind of that suppressed toning as well on the coin. So once again, you're not going to have that AU58 luster. You're only going to have that kind of AU50 luster. Taking a look at the coin here on the reverse, some kind of just haze on the coin, a few spots here. But overall, very fantastic piece. I like offering coins like this for sure because, you know, early dates catch people's eyes, catch people's attention. And, uh, yeah, let's get to the next box. Starting out with the next box here, we have an 1884-0 Morgan Dollar. This one's great MS-64. Taking a look here at the coin, I mean, I think it's, I mean, there's a few kind of uh, spots on the coin, but overall the strike's pretty nice here. No really rubbing on the high points. Looks to be kind of a, a hit right here or some dust. Hmm. Flip over the coin. Man, I do think this coin did deserve a kind of a better grade. That's just my opinion. I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of MS-65 in this caliber. There is kind of a rim ding right here that almost looks uh, like a problem. And there looks like there'd be something here. Um, but overall, there's a few marks on the reverse, kind of what you to expect. But 1900 oh Morgan Dollar. I guess this is a Morgan Dollar episode. Um, you can kind of see some striations on the face here. A lot of distracting, and there is a lot of slide on this coin, as you can see. I think the most of the slide is down on the hair here, all the way uh, at the bottom. And there also is just that kind of, like I said, kind of uh, rubbing on the face. A little spot to the front of the face there. Uh, kind of a nice little strike on the reverse here, but overall, pretty nice coin. Not sure why it really received that 63 grade. I'm guessing it's just the appearance kind of in the central region of the face. But, you know, still a pretty nice coin. I uh, do like that one a lot. Trying to see how, you know, it's not really the scratches, but it's the rubbing. That kind of plays into a part of the coin. That's just something that I'm trying to pick up on and understand. Here's a kind of cool 1852 large scent. Kind of has like a, uh, it's, you can't really see it in this LED looking light, but it has like a wood grainy look to it. Do really enjoy how the coin looks overall. Uh, I'm pretty pleased just that it, it straight graded and did well. Got the more chocolatey brown on the reverse here, but still pretty nice coin. Even circulation throughout the whole piece. Gosh, another one here. <laughs> Tyler likes his Morgans, and uh, we like looking at them. Uh, back again here. Got this kind of rubbing on the face rubbing just all over the coin and there's also kind of just some nice little scuff marks here a few carbon spots from what it looks like kind of a little spotty up here as well flip over the coin more rubbing it seems here on the legs and on the on the high point breast feathers a few extra kind of distracting ugly spots that I guess you know kind of f fell into the PCGS's decision to uh, mark this one at MS 63 but Still a nice piece overall. You can kind of see a, a light scratch here going on the coin. Um, see if we can pick up anything else here. Yeah, just a few kind of, kind of uh, you know, contact marks with other coins, and uh, that's just what you're going to kind of see with most 1921s. A lot of them lying between MS63 to MS64. So this one uh, is a 1935S Washington Quarter graded MS64. And what's kind of the major issue here on this coin? Um, just taking a look at it, looks like the streak, there might be kind of a little bit of a striking issue here, or a little bit of rub. A few kind of spots here, also uh, a little bit of a mark to the right behind the head. You take a look at the reverse, um, don't see too many problems with the reverse here, don't see many scratches. Taking a look back at this obverse here, you can kind of see some some kind of gentle scratches coming off the face. Kind of hard to see on this light. Little few little scratches coming up on um, the neck as well. Uh, taking a look at the reverse. Not too many scratches that I could see that are apparent. Uh, overall, luster is very strong on the coin. 
I do think this one had a shot at a higher grade for sure. Not sure what PCGS thought of the coin, so uh, that's just the way it rolls. But like I said, I don't agree with every coin that they uh, end up showing us, but I th still think it's a nice one for sure. Take a look at this next piece. This is a 1923 piece dollar, great MS65. Take a look at the strike here up first. The strike's kind of nice. You can see the hair is still pretty intact, all defined here. A little bit of rub on the high points. Rub on uh, kind of underneath the eyelid here still. Uh, I mean, there's not too many issues with the coin, as you can see. There's a few kind of hits. Um, there's a kind of big hit here, but very problem-free surfaces. Pretty nice piece overall. Uh, there's a major hit kind of right underneath, um, right, right halfway through the wing here. No, overall, though, I think the coin did kind of merit this MS65 grade. I've seen many piece dollars that look a lot worse than this. It's just there's always a lot of ticking down here and then all the way down on the legs. So even with that big hit, piece dollars are kind of graded, uh, you know, graded a little bit more passively. They're not taking too much away from that coin just based on the hit on the reverse. But if it was on the obverse, I'd say it was a different story. This is 1899 O Morgan dollar graded MS. Uh, I'm sorry, graded unk details cleaned. Uh, when you take a look at this coin, I'm trying to pick up on where it might have had that issue. When I take these coins out of the box, I'm literally uh, taking a look at the same time that you are. Didn't really do anything uh, beforehand just because that's how you do it. Um, just helps you and me kind of gain the same eye. Uh, there seems to be some kind of film or something on on the face here. I'm not sure if someone used a tool or something um, to kind of smooth that face out. It's very hard for me to tell. And maybe there's some haloing around the, around the stars. But I think this coin, I mean, I'm kind of confused on where unk details would lay. Um, trying to just get to see if there's any hairlines, anything that's, you know, would be spotted out. Huh. It's very confusing to me on this one as well. I'm trying to understand it more just because you don't want to get hosed when you send coins in. You want to go, you know, a matter of fact, you know, you want to just get one that for the most part is going to look nice and is going to straight grade. And that one for me is just very confusing. Here's an 1881S Morgan dollar, uh, graded MS63. So overall, pretty nice clean cheek. There's a lot of uh, chatter out in the fields here. Overall, really strong luster. I do like the coin a lot. Seems to be a lot of rubbing here on the hair, which is a problem. And so, you know, a little bit of haziness in the fields on the reverse up by the states. But overall, I mean, pretty strong coin. Don't think this one is proof-like. It's kind of like a hazy proof-like. Um, and so I just don't think that would merit enough for it to be, uh, you know, merit for it to be that uh, proof-like designation. It needs a little bit more re reflectivity to me. But the luster on the coin is an S mint luster. 1881S is 1880. Uh, 1881S is 1880S's are the ones you can see with that, uh, just with some beaming luster. Here's a 1941 Denver uh, Mercury dime. Few kind of striations on the face. Um, a little hazy in the center of the coin. Luster is still pretty strong. Uh, when you flip over the coin, kind of the same story. A little bit of a spot near the one. Some more haze right here above, uh, or actually right below America. But nice 41D full bands. I think it's just a nice beautiful coin overall. He did good with that one for sure. Here is a nice kind of uh, lustrous 1884. Morgan dollar, 1884 Morgan dollar. This one's great, MS63. Weak strike, not much rubbing, as you can see. It's actually pretty nice and even here. Uh, really big hit where the, uh, where the neck is, so that's where I would kind of say this one would, would fall under and where they would kind of point out the MS63 territory. Flip over the coin, a lot of kind of hits right above the eagle. But, you know, still pretty nice blast white coin. Nice hit here. Strikes a tad weak, as you can see, but I think that's a decent omen coin. It's just that one scuff right by the neck really did do it for the coin. Anything with kind of major damage would really take away from it. Okay, this one is 1888 Altered Surfaces. So I'm guessing someone used some type of chemical to make it look a, a different. I don't know. They try to use something on this coin to make it look different, try to take away some wear possibly. You can kind of see these weird milky stains that are kind of dark 
and uh, it just really impairs the coin, makes it kind of hard to grade. And I think that's what took away from it. You can even see more of this haziness here. I think they just used a certain chemical on it that really destroyed the, really destroyed the uh, reflectivity kind of in those areas and um, made it look like it was an altered surface. Maybe someone actually smoothed it out with something as well. Uh, There's just too many possibilities with that coin. I'm still learning and it's, it's a little bit tough because many of these graders have seen so many coins. They've heard so many different stories on how coins are altered. But I haven't heard those stories, and neither have you. And so, sometimes with the explanation, I think that the coin coin community would be helped a lot, just because uh, you would get clued in, I would get clued in. It would be uh, kind of a come to Jesus moment. But it's just the way it goes. Starting off here with a little bit of a, a weak weakness in the hair. Rubbing is is a non-existent on this coin. Very clean cheek. Not no haziness. Luster is still pretty strong. I do think the coin is, you know, it's a nice gem coin. Um, I'm going to flip over the coin. has some kind of uh, rub, rubbing on the reverse here. Still overall nice luster, a little bit of haze, but no really scuffs at all. Pretty much perfect reverse. Now that one, an MS-64, kind of got me confused, you know, so, yeah, it just, you got to take your, your lumps where you get them. This one has lacking luster, as you can see. There's a lot of, uh, there's a little bit of rub here in the hair. And uh, you can kind of just, I don't know, the coin just doesn't look beautiful, in my opinion. It does look like it's lacking that luster and that carry to get it to MS-63. Got some toning up here that's unattractive, in my opinion. Um, nice little reverse, though, which is not, not the most important part. But got a few scuffs up here uh, above In God We Trust. You're going to see that on a lot of coins. Still some decent luster. I think this one may have been dipped out, in my opinion. Someone dropped it in dip and... It was graded down because of it. Maybe they were trying to remove some color on it. Something like that. Um, just luster looks very strange on the coin. Nice little 1898-0 Morgan dollar. Now this one's graded uh, MS-64. Got a kind of minor uh, hit here, scuff, right uh, underneath the eye. Nice clean cheek. Uh, as you can see, there's some rubbing and it looks like a combination of rubbing and a weak strike. You can even see that right by the hair. I do like the coin overall. It has a few little touches of toning there that I don't, I don't think is very attractive, but it isn't cleaning, which is good. You flip over the coin, kind of has like a metallic um, look to it. Luster is, for me, a little bit flat, but overall, the surfaces are very problem free. Um, and you're kind of seeing a little bit of either rub or a weak strike on the reverse. It's kind of hard to tell because uh, New Orleans vents are kind of known for a weak strike, but also. Um, they also, you know, sometimes just get a lot of rub from people moving them around in their bookshelves or doing whatever that they did. And so, pretty interesting coin. Here's a few piece dollars that I really did like. Um, pretty l strong luster on this 1922D. Huge hit coming from underneath the eye all the way almost to underneath the hair here. Um, this one's going to be a certain van that's not a big issue of a scratch. Luster is on point though. It's very beautiful. Flip it over, luster's still pretty strong here. Kind of, you can see the sheen going off all the way down the coin. I think that really does play into kind of the strike of the coin. You can even see the sheen going up there. Possibly rub, but still trying to understand this certain date um, and this certain mint mark because they all do have certain histories about how they were treated at the mint. And that really does play into your knowledge of the coin, what you can expect from certain grades of certain years. But we take a look at the second one here. Got a few kind of contact marks going onto the face. This weird kind of uh, discoloration. But the luster is very strong. A little bit more of that sheen that you're seeing earlier down by uh, 22. Flip over the coin. Still nice frosty coin. Still has some kind of color or discoloration on the high points and on the rim. And you can still see that really sharp, either uh, sharp failure to strike or rub but pretty cool coin i just like the ones with luster i know that they're a certain grade and that's just the way they go but i still like the luster on the coin i still like their appearance you're buying the best for a certain grade if that makes sense so you can kind of see some hits here it's just gentle hits a few hits on the neck here that are a little bit longer um, but nice beautiful blast white frosty coin 
You can see the hair is kind of getting a little mushy here behind the eye, and that's when you kind of indicate it as a weak strike. Uh, most of the time you're going to want it to hair that's really defined. There's also kind of some hit, a giant hit here, um, maybe from a different coin. But overall, nice blast white surface. Kind of seeing the same story. Not There's not just not a fullness to the eagle. And uh, that might just be a certain mint thing where it just, you know, the strike didn't go out all the way. Uh, here's my favorite coin of the whole entire submission. This is an 1835 half cent. Nice chocolatey obverse. Uh, pretty big dig underneath uh, the chin. A little bit of a scratch going all the way um, down the coin. But look at that chocolatey appearance. Very beautiful. Do like that one a lot. A little bit of off center here. Um, I'm sorry, rotated dies. It kind of rotated just a little bit to the right. Do love this coin though a lot. It's very beautiful. Last coin we're going to be showing you guys today is this 1897O Morgan Dollar. Great XF45. A little bit of a better date. And, uh, you know, it's to be expected this one's XF. Very lackluster. Um, it's been circulated pretty heavily. There's no more luster in the face. And we, we lost luster in most of the other coin here. Still a little bit of underlying luster in the details and the fields. You know, kind of back up by the hat, but also, you know, just in the background. You flip over the coin. Very heavy circulation on the breast feathers and on the eagle's wings. Um, you know, very lackluster as you can see. It's just been through a lot. And so, uh, still, nice, beautiful coin. And I hope you guys learned something today. Hope I learned something today too. It's just been a kind of a uh, interesting experience. But let's cut to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, it means a lot to me if you could hit that like button. Um, comment your thoughts down below of what you guys think about the current situation with grading. Um, is it worth it for you to send some coins in right now? Um, your perspective means a lot to us, so just let us know that. And subscribe if you're new. More videos to come and a lot of videos for you guys to take a look at. So I will see you guys in the next video.